Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'm finally back with another video. So this is a digital painting blog, sort of, and um, I'm very proud of it because I did this all by myself, and it's something I really wanted to do for a very long time. That was basically make a character of my own, um, and yeah, I still don't know what to call him. You guys can probably give me a name or something, but um, anyways, I really love how this turned out, and I really, really hope you guys enjoy watching me paint it. Love you anyway, so sunshine, never mind. Oh, bring me all of your gray skies. Yeah, the moonlight never seems so bright until it's the only source of all of your light. Oh, can't see the future, can't see the past. I can only hope that this will last. Oh. Sunshine, never mind. Bring me all of your gray skies. So, guys, before I even get started with the painting, I just want to say I'm using a mouse, so um, even though it's a rough sketch, um, it's still pretty messy, and that's because it's very difficult to control it. Um, but don't worry, guys, uh, this, I'm using a lot of layers, so it won't be seen. But I'll eventually, it'll eventually be fine, guys. Trust me. Initially, I wanted it to look like a high school student and I was uh, just planning out the outfit and <laughs> the generally the look of the character. I finished the rough sketch and then I decided to move on to the darker sketch um, which was just to give it a little more definition and it would make it easier when I do the color, uh, the initial color to the character. So I did that off screen because it was a very rough process and it would uh, just um, it would be too lengthy so then I decided to do that off screen and I added a base color so I wanted my character to have brown hair and um, probably like a checkered shirt um, that was what I was going for like with an over basically as an overcoat and inside he would be wearing a white t-shirt something plain white so and I wanted the color out of the coat to be like green color so then I decided to just look it up because I wanted to uh, see how it would look on a person in general and then I decided to just go for it but then I do change my mind eventually guys Yes guys, I changed my mind and I decided to do something like a varsity jacket on him but then I didn't like that either so then I went for this blue checkered shirt. Don't worry guys, I do not change my mind after this. This is the final decision and I really like how this um, um, turned out on my character. It really matched his vibe so I liked, I like how it turned out so yeah guys. Everything with us Just know I miss it bad I hope you think of me when you walk down Broadway Hear me sing when you hear street bands play Hope you think of me When you go back to the city Hope you see me at the Soho Downer Can't sleep and you pull no matter Hope you think of me When you go back to the city thinking about the background i did not really have any goal for that i just wanted it to be plain or possibly like light lighter colors mm. and as long as it matched the outfit i was okay with it so yeah from sneaking away into rooftop skies drunken songs of you and i it's nothing at all it breaks my heart asking why 
When we put city lights to shame Lit up streets with both our names The love stood so tall And there'll never be one the same I hope you think of me when you walk down Broadway Hear me singing when you hear street bands play Hope you think of me Will you go back to the city the details on the shirt took a lot of time so I decided to do that off screen. Uh, I did make a lot of mistakes also and I felt like if I recorded the footage it would be too much to edit and also it would be very boring for you guys to watch that so I finished it and I skipped that part and now I'm just working on the details for the eyes. Also guys it got dark outside so I had to use the lighting in my house. To you and me. I really want to know if any other artists can relate to this but uh, when I'm drawing a guy I cannot draw um, the lashes it just never uh, turns out right for me the eye ends up looking really really weird and um, I just get really upset with it so uh, I decided to just darken that area around the eye in the corner so that uh, I would not have to add the lashes and it would also not look weird but if you guys have any tips on that um, and if you do not struggle with it please feel free to actually uh, write it down in the comment section below and I will read it and I will also try it out to see if it works. <laughs> my character to have this blush around his nose and um, below his um, eyes um, basically on his cheeks but like uh, I just wasn't able to blend I was trying to use the airbrush um, to actually blend it but that didn't work that well so if you guys know any brush that actually lets you do that please let me know but I still like how I did the skin tone This was a spontaneous decision. I decided to go a little bit crazy on the background and it's no more a character study, it's it's also a lighting study as well. And I decided to um, make him this celebrity or famous guy who was standing on a stage and his projector lights are all over his face. So I just wanted to get that lighting effect on him as well. So, but I really love how I did this. I just edited the background and um, somehow made it blend with um, with the character as well. But I really love how this turned out. complete the painting by the end of this video i still have to do his ears and um his coat i guess the other side and maybe a little bit of his face including his nose for real um i still have to work on the nose but i really love how this turned out overall my favorite part is obviously the projector lights it just um i feel like i really understood the lighting part of the study and that really made me happy because I never thought I could do this much and yeah I really love how this turned out. All the 
Listen, honey, if I told you about the way that. So guys, that's about it. I know there's still some left to do, but I will be doing it, and I'll show you guys probably when I finish. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please support. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.